So I know that this is an extremely odd setup, but I did not know what other time that I would have to make this video. I'm actually lucky enough to be traveling in Bali right now and I'm with my family trying to have fun with them, but I'm also just trying to get as much footage of the amazing locations that I'm just lucky enough to get to see. But this information is big information. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this particular camera and that's why I wanna get this information out there. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about a new Sony ZV-E10 that was gonna be coming out or at least a new Sony ZV-E camera. Well, I have a little bit more clarification and I was wrong. So apparently it is not going to be a Sony ZV-E blank. This is actually gonna be a follow-up or another camera in the category of a ZV-1. So I'm not sure if this is a ZV-1 Mark II or if maybe this is gonna be a higher end follow-up to the Sony RX100 Mark VII. So maybe finally the RX100 Mark VIII that we've all been waiting for. Now, that being said, this is going to be a ZV camera. So it's gonna be a ZV camera, whether it's gonna be the ZV-1 Mark II or it's gonna be a new ZV higher end version. But if this is gonna be a point and shoot camera, it is gonna be aimed more at the vlogger community. I kinda of got a little hint that maybe this will have a wider angle lens on it, and I know that was one of the complaints of the ZV-1, that it didn't have quite wide enough of a lens, especially when you had the active stabilization, it cropped in quite a bit. So I'm hoping that that is not gonna be the case with this camera, but I do expect it to come out fairly soon. I almost know for a fact that either it's being tested right now or it was being tested by different Sony influencers over the last few weeks. So I think that it's gonna be a September announcement. I really believe that early October at the latest. If you're in the market for a Sony ZV-1 or if you're excited for another point and shoot camera, then I think you're gonna be excited because I think this is gonna be a great camera. Now, the reason why I do not think it is a Sony ZV-E whatever camera that I thought it was, basically it's from more information that I've gotten from my source. Now, I don't wanna out my source and also my source, he's not giving everything away to me basically because he's trying to play it close to the vest because I know that he has been testing this camera out or at least he is highly hinted to me that he is testing this camera out. One of the reasons why I also don't believe it's gonna be a Sony ZV-E10 or a version of that camera is because supposedly they're coming out with a Sony FX30. So from a supply chain issue and also from just uh, not to cannibalize that market any more than it's already gonna be cannibalized. I don't think they're gonna be coming out with say an APS-C R7 camera anytime soon. I think that basically all their resources is going towards that FX30 in the APS-C realm. But this is a point and click camera. I was wrong, but I hope you're excited because I know a lot of people have been commenting wanting this camera to come out. I expect it any day now. I hope that this video gets out before it's actually announced. If you've liked this video, I'm sorry that I've been vague. I'm sorry this is a weird setup, but this is real information. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and it really helps out the channel and I very much appreciate it. Until next time, peace.